let's see. Okay, it is recording, so I wanted to do this live, but there are some troubles today, so I'm gonna do this in an offline attempt for the moment being. Can I like yeah, a little bit of safety? So let's see, everything looks good. I should be able to do. There we go. So hopefully, you can read this. We well, should be able to search for this. Kosek Steam Controller. This is a bit, kind of a mix between an app and a program. And no, I mean a driver and a program. That actually you can see. Hopefully. That's a little bit. That there is no steam running here. So that means that uh, the steam controller should not cannot not really work. It it's uh, it has a, it's a lizard mode. So the best uses for this one that I found so far is just a very basic um, kind of like Xbox controller emulation. Emulation or like yeah, well let's call it emulation doesn't really matter. And that could be good for some Windows games. So I still think you should use Steam and the Steam desktop configuration if you want pure mouse and keyboard. You will lose overlay, but you will still get better UI and really you know good customization. This is more advanced, so so you go to this page, and it says here, you need to install this one. This is used for GLOSK, so you might already have this one if you use that too. You should not use Steam or like the GLOSK together with this. So it's very important, Steam should not be running when you try to do this, but basically all you need to do is Blah 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 is get this one. As you can see here, that's installed. Executable, nice and a good tool that will install the kind of basic driver. And then you can go to this one. You can grab this for own 0497 release. And this is, uh, you just unpack this one to whatever you feel comfortable. I'm gonna do this. Let's do this. Okay. So, here you can see I'm running the same version of this one, this we release it's just unzipped you will get this one so let's go back so you have the latest one and then basically all you need to do is run this executable it's quite easy and if you leave like encounter bugs and stuff obviously you should go to this page and you can you know report issues directly to the creator. I'm not creator, I just uh, get news of this one and I wanted to kinda like do I wanna show it? Well maybe it's it's uh, still early, but it's quite usable in some situations. So let's do this. So all you need to do is to go Unzip, and there we have it, the same as it says. So, and you need to, you know, this isn't an officially Windows, like they haven't evaluated and yada yada. So, you need to like run it anyway, or you know, it's always good to like run a few maybe wire scanners, stuff like that. 
but this seems very legit to me, so I'm going to trust it. And it should be... there we go. Okay, and I'm going to start a Steam controller. And you can see this and this one. So, okay, see desktop, mouse right, mouse left, pressed mouse left. Okay, I will see. So the gyro I don't think is working yet, so it's very early and that's why I don't really really wanna give too much emphasis on this. Like you should still use the, the Steam desktop for mouse and give you get gyro and all the functionality except you know obviously the overlay as I said previously. Um, right, that is working. Oops. Yeah. Take a path. But I do wonder, can you not? No, maybe not. Okay, here we go. Uh, is there any like default you can press? Sorry for this, I am not a really a little bit new to this. Basically, um, you will get this one when you start. This is going to be like the main easy one to go for. And you can configure what you want this one to do. It's, as I said, it's, it's kind of obviously custom action. It's definitely not the easiest one to use. There we go. Ah, oh, here. You can get a nice little visual. And you use... This one and we change profile, it's quite nice actually. Um, this is what I used for. So, this is what I used to kind of get the dual stage trigger working. And you, if you get it, you get it, if not, you don't. It's oof, man, as I said, this is not the easiest one. But this is pretty fun. If you just do this, now you should have a basic Xbox controller that should work. And let's show the difference. So this is how it looks now. And what you need to use is the fully pressed action to get the dual stage trigger working. You need to apply this to something and you should be able to get it to work as a dual state trigger now. Uh, it doesn't really show, but I have set one here. You can see there are two. There is one button and then there is one axis that I kind of configured. So, but let's stick to this one. So, as I said, it's early, it's kind of you, kind of different. But what you do is stick to this one. And I was thinking I wanted to show something that you could uh, configure. So, as you can see, there's a lot of stuff that's grayed out, and that's just because it's not supported to be. Configure yet. Mm. 
What was it? I was thinking something. Is it this one? Blah blah blah. You could. You're supposed to be able to. Ah, oh, right. Maybe this one. Well, I forgot now, but you could disable the haptic in some place. That is seem to have been taken away, and you can do something. Well, you need to like. This is early. This is like super kind of tricky. But if you just you follow this one, you get vegan bus, install it, you unzip this, run it, you get this one, you turn on your Steam controller, and you load just a regular one of these present like this one or this one it should it should be pretty pretty basic And this should be um, basically nothing more to do with. So I'm gonna try to see if I can start the game. And then I'm gonna try to just show you that it's working. So let's go for an Epic Store game. I don't have a lot of games that, that like needs, that doesn't work with Steam. And I can't. I can't really run Forza because it's so buggy, I need to disconnect my VR headset and a lot of weird stuff. And I'm gonna... This is a free game that Epic Games gave away called um, Fence. Real nice. Okay. And let's see if I can do... So you can see I get the... Get the controller buttons and everything. And... It's being detected as a nice little controller. How can I... I don't know if you can reset to... Let's just continue the game and see. Just a quick to show you that it's... It is working. There is no steam or anything. Uh, yeah, no. I can use the D-pad here. And I think this is a game that obviously works very well. Okay, those. Okay, the start button does nothing. So, very basic. I can see. Wait, didn't it save? I did. You no, know, I have one key, right? Whoa! So very interesting. All right, this is how you do it. Definitely a cool style game. Like 
exactly I've been. So I'm gonna try to show you something different also to kind of show you that it is working. So. But for games like this, that you know, you just want a pure Xbox uh, kind of controller experience. Uh, it's definitely good to have this kind of tool that just works in a very basic way. So I'm gonna try to show because one of the good uses for this should or is uh, emulators. Okay, that I have to be. In. Can I? Okay, there we go. Is the final door? Where is Relaxing him. Oh, hello! Oh, I'm missing one. What? No? I got it everyone. That's nice. So, yeah, definitely. It's it's fun that we have some progress on the Steam Control that we can use it. Uh, in the, but, like, I think it's so. It, it's sad that Steam just doesn't support. That yeah, Steam just doesn't support uh, X input in uh, in a desktop. That would fix everything. That would be all that we need, uh, and maybe be able to have some some profiles, maybe. Because if you could switch pro, <laughs> if you could switch profiles, really would be great. And if you could use, you know, gamepad mode in uh, gamepad mode in the regular one, it's it's all that we really need. Do -do -do. It's very sad to see that uh, like Steam, so I can see that they had this limitation in the beginning, they really wanted to push forward and uh, get people into the Steams, the games, the overlays and all that stuff. Oh, okay. Jesus. This is a big stuff. Kind of crazy type of game like this, like 2D and 3D kind of combined. <laughs> It is cool though, definitely. <laughs> no! Oh, oh god. That was scary. I'm gonna switch to some Some uh, good old emulating just in a moment. What? Oh, okay, maybe I was right on top of one more cube. <laughs> ah, ah, I need two cubes to open this one, alright. I'm, I'm not gonna be stuck playing this right now, I think. I'm Okay, let's just continue this and let's see. What? 
four cubes, one, eight. Woo. Okay, so I think hopefully this oh this is I'm gonna exit. Um we're gonna do there we go. We're gonna go for some emulator action to show you off. Um, because like the like simple Xbox games and stuff like emulators, that's where I think this is shiny right now. Works very good and very easy with that. So let's see, do we have? I don't think I have any more like games that are pure non-Steam games, not and requiring a gamepad. Um, so maybe no, well, I could. Not gonna do that. It's not really ready for prime time, and I can't. I don't want to use CMC, no, what is it? Dolphin, I think it was. What was it? No? Let me see what, what is it. Exactly, it was got to be this one. Yeah, Dolphin. Um, I don't want to use this tool for this one because I needed to use stage trigger and stuff like that, so then I'm gonna. Gonna run it through Steam because stuff and work with the Steam, the Steam overlay. But I do have one of the older ones, like the Pro 64, for example, Nintendo 64 emulator. This is known to cause some troubles with uh, this with with Steam. For some reason, there's been a trouble some running this one. But here we can see everything working. Just go through a little bit of quick check, or maybe not. But there we go. Sure, we can go for a window resolution. That full screen resolution should be this one. Maybe. Oh, that's nice. And there's some weird slowness here. I haven't used this uh, because it doesn't, didn't run so good with Steam, so I used other. What was it called? The other one, Muffin, Muffin 64, something like that. And let's see, I'm just gonna. That's good. And controller, here comes the fun, right? To see if it's gonna work. Okay, so you can clearly see it's X input. And everything is set to a gamepad. Let's go for like this is a classic, it's easy, it's run well, it's good for showing off the analog stick. Oh, there we go. It's me, Mario. So let's see. Hello. Start working. Oh man, okay, no saves. Unfortunately, we gotta yeah, see through this so I can get in uh, and see if the analog stick is analog and working as it should be. Uh, oh, I can't. Hmm. There's no maximize button. Oh, da, 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 da. it's not super long this intro, so that's good. <sighs> Maybe I should go for Doom after this. I'm VR getting to stretch my legs a little bit. Whoa. Come on, jump up, little plumber boy. Here we go. Not plumber boy, it's a man, it's a Mario. Okay. So B button works. And we have camera. And this is used to crouch. And most importantly is obviously gonna 
camera? Is the camera. Alright. Now the most important is if the analog is analog. And clearly we can see because if if the analog like uh, on the stick and trick and stuff wasn't working, you could just use Steam Desktop in like keyboard mode if it would have been this only working. But we need it's because we want the analog that really is good. And it's working great. So let's try some another one uh, just just to see that it's it's consi consistently working. Um, what the hell do I have in here? Oh shit! Okay. Whoa. Interesting. I have no idea if this is even working. <laughs> and we need to... No, okay, I cannot adjust the volumes in this. Controls. Okay, system. What? Oh, okay. Triggers. Okay, analog. Huh? Um, I'm gonna try to show this right in a moment, I guess. But it is. Uh, it's, it's working. It's uh, sending like the the X input button configuration here. It was this was set to a keyboard layout, and now it's analog too. I don't know right. Um, left, uh, right, what? And what? <laughs> it's a little bit. There we go. You need to kind of like digital too. Um, okay. No. I don't remember this. How the Dreamcast uh, controller was. I'm not sure what. If I need everything to be set here, left triggers, yada 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 yada. And we have Z, D. Oh, we can't use that one. No. Let's try and see if I can get this just going. Oh, oh okay. Might work. So if it's a little bit of slow video, I'm just I'm getting used to everything and uh, trying to work out the kinks uh, kinks as I am going through this. So just uh Let's do that. Just there we go. Yadi yadi yadi. Okay. 
Let's just try one to see how it goes. Can we? Yeah. Just to see if it's uh, gonna be analog in this one or not. But it is being detected. That was loud. Okay, so gas is not... I think that, yeah... Steering probably is. This was not running very well, so... Let's go for something that runs better than this one. Um, see, finish with... Oh, that's too slow. I guess I could try this one. This is also one that I think I've had some troubles with the Steam, but I don't really need gamepad mode for this one, so it's uh, okay. Where is control? There we go. Input configuration. Okay, let's let's try this one. Uh, right. What? Oh. Up left. Up right. Down right, down left, what the frick is that? Okay, now... Um, mm -hmm. Can I... No? There we go. That should be better. Um, do we have one? Let's go for a classic again. This isn't really an analog, it's just interesting to see it because sometimes it just might be, uh, you know, what you want anyway, so. Let's see. Okay, seems to be working. Okay, that's yum. Yum. Seems a little bit stuttering. How many times can you mess up? Ooh, almost. It's been a while since I played this, and I think there is a. Yeah, it's a little bit small delay. But let's show you this. So you can see this. It it's your stick, it's your stick, it's getting. Take this just like a regular controller. Yeah, maybe we can do this one. Uh, oh, okay. That's nice. Um, I wonder if this one is gonna work. I haven't tried this in a while, so. And I know there's no image, I'm just gonna try to see if it 
get this going. Might need to configure stuff. I don't remember if I have configured this one. Uh, okay, yeah, 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 should be. Oh god, this is a copyright strike waiting to happen. Sure. Is there any... Come on, let's start one. I just want to see that this, everything is working. So yeah, yes, for general desktop, uh, no, not a, like gamepad emulation. Um, this is a good tool to get going and get it to work. Definitely, you can see here I'm doing very small turning. And this is full turning, so analog is working. That's nice that they fixed this game. There were some weird bugs before. The music is great and everything, it's just uh, Yeah, 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 that's nice. In a game like this, you don't really might not necessarily need um, the the analog because it's very is much like quick. But it's nice to have it. Oh my man! Oh, this looks weird. Okay, it's just probably a glitch within this game itself. So. <laughs> yep, okay, I'm gonna. Uh, oof, that's, we don't need to keep going too much, it's so easy to get drawn in. So, here we have it. So, you can just load this up and select this nice little one. That's how you save the, the changes you've done. Um, I, I wouldn't mess about with too much other stuff at the moment. You can, as I said, I've got, I did get the dual stage tree to work with this one, but it's very advanced kind of finicky and the game is crashes I don't know how stable or how good it was working unfortunately so go for yes probably use one of this one probably you know the best bet
and you were you are supposed to like disable the haptics i just don't remember how to do it and i didn't feel any haptics so i don't know if it's not working or if it's something you need to fix um, I just don't, I can't see, I don't see the kind of haptics part here, so, so I have no idea. Okay, but I'm gonna finish with showing one thing, so it's very important this one. You see this one is running, and the as I said, you can't use Steam when this is running, so I'm gonna do wait. And the Steam controller is now on, it's a regular one. I'll turn it off. I'm just gonna double check one thing because previously. No? Okay, it seems to be working this time because. It could be, if you get some weird stuff, it might be that, I'm gonna try one thing here, just to see if I can. There we go, okay. So just to see if I can reproduce one thing, because I had one problem where I just exited it, and it kept running in the background, and that will interfere with that will interfere with uh, Steam and you know making and with the controller in general, so making it will not work. So I'm just gonna try to do. Oh, it seems to be fixed. That's good. But if if you like, if there is some weird when you're running, you can go in the task manager and you can check if it's running, or you could just reboot your computer to be sure that. It the service is exited correctly. Um, okay, we don't need this one, and we're gonna end with this. There we go. So, so this one again. Keep an eye out for it, and if you just want to, at the moment a generic gamepad emulation, you can definitely check this one out. I still recommend Steam if. You can run it, you know, the game uh, through it, like an on Steam game or whatever, because you will get an overlay, you will get an easier, but still kind of, you know, not the best GUI to configure, but it's better than, it's more understandable for, for like, yeah, doing some basic stuff. So, definitely, but you know, for, you know, the emulators, the Windows games that you want. The, you want the controller to be like you want the buttons to be A, B, and you know the button prompts and stuff like that. Check this one out and see if it works. Uh, it's a free. It's uh, quite easy. You know, you go through, you know, to the page. You get like the, as I said, you get this one. If you have Windows 10 at least, uh, Windows 7 and other one might be trickier, you might have to read more. But for Windows 10, you should just be able to run this one, install this one. You should only need to go to this page, get the latest one. There's an unzip it packet. You use unzip, it's a free tool, and this is built into Windows 10, so should, you should just be able to open it in uh, Explorer and like from there, just unzip it. And then you know you just run the executable file within, and then you can turn on your Steam controller. I don't know if you need to turn your Steam controller on after or not, but I did turn it on after I run this one. It, it got green, and you can just choose the preset to the like the Xbox or the Xbox with the high precision camera, and you're good to go. There's not really more to do to just have a generic gamepad emulation anymore for the Steam controller. So definitely for like as said emulators and stuff like that, try it out. If it works, it's fun. If you find some weird bugs, you can 
can use this you know you can report to the creator and you know might help improving it and it is so sorry, it is an early one but it's still good to have options to steam since they don't want to offer they just don't want to offer gamepad emulation within the desktop configuration which is sad they, it's all that would be needed uh, nothing else would be really be needed to get the steam to be really really like perfectly awesome in that way so at least we have something for now so go check it out if you need it and uh, you should be able to uh, get it up it's it's not really that difficult it, it actually it's uh, it's easier to get this one just running than it was to get Glosk running but Glosk gave me you know the steam UI so it was easier to kind of configure when it was running but just to get Glosk and everything was more difficult than just this it's just like click 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 oh okay it's it's a uh, regular controller now okay so you should be able to get that done quite easy with this and that's all for this video and I'm gonna go back to playing and streaming a lot more today so you might have a shot at questioning me live <laughs>